Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I wanted to share with you my latest project for The Cutting Cafe. This time around, we were using a new file set that is called Christmas Treat Cups, and most of them are cards. They um, have snowmen, um, I think there's a joy word one, but this one was an ornament that you could use on your own. It also comes with an ornament in a card or actually I think it's two ornaments on the card but I'll have the link to the file below but it's a fun and easy way to give people a quick little treat for Christmas or for um, if you use other ones and there are other treat cup files um, just as a quick gift so you could fill it with candy or as I have done I have filled it with resin snowflakes and you could see those. There's white ones, silver ones, and blue. And you could give that to a crafty friend. I have a Merry Christmas sticker. I've used blue cardstock to construct the treat cup. And you could see it's um fairly um decent size. So there is an acetate window in there. And then I have added an extra step there is a piece that you can put here this circle and you can see I have a little bit of edge of blue so what I did was I took one of the circles that was cut out of I believe this back piece here and I punched the circle out of the center so it was just a tiny bit smaller than the ring that actually is made in the file to go with it. So I thought that was kind of neat to have just a little bit of an edge there around the circle. So that's how I did that. That's not originally in the file, but it's something very, very easy to do. I added this glitter bow that has some hints of blue in it, silver, and then I added these pearl, flatback pearls, sorry, <laughs> all around the face of it. Now the file does come with sentiments that come around that you could print out and put on this circle, circle, but I just thought I'd like to do something a little different and I added the pearls and a sentiment sticker. The back... is um, made with a slide. This piece here is a slide that you can slide open to get the goodies out. And then I just made it out of the same paper that was in the front. So when there's nothing in there, it matches the inside. And I did also do another extra step I layered this back piece I um, with navy cardstock, but it is um, also the same as this on the front. So I had layered a piece of this and a piece of navy cardstock so that when it's empty, you could see there on the inside, it's that same paper for both the inside piece and the closure but on the back I add an additional piece of navy cardstock and then there is a piece here you can see a little better that um, allows you to um, glue a portion on here so that you can add that particular closure so that you can get the candy out hope I explained that correctly but anyway that is my project this week and I as I said will have the link below and you will have the link to um, the other treat cups remember to head on over to the cutting cafe on the 7th and the 21st of each month because we do um, design team posts on those days and if you leave a comment Regina always pulls a winner from the previous post and announce it on the current post and that person wins three free files and if you want to see still shots please make sure that you check out my blog which is 
SoGoodCrafter.com, S-E-W-G-O-O-D, Crafter.com. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great and very blessed day. Bye-bye.